Well, some officials in Logan County are using a well-known building to establish lifelong memories and encourage healthy lef- lifestyles and positive family values. Dancy is with Pastor Shelley Stevenson to talk about Union Station. Dancy. Well, Pastor Shelley Stevenson joins us again, and um, she's always a joy to talk with. So much happening in Bow Fountain at her church, Christ Covenant Church, but so much that you have taken outside the walls of the church itself. And I want to welcome you back to the show. Thank you. Um, drug addiction has become such a part of our society today. There are no communities who are immune, unfortunately. What are you doing with the church itself and, and just the Christian community to help the problem. Right, you know, we, we decided that we wanted to be a part of the solution somehow. Yeah. Because we were having people in our own church, and I don't have a big church, but that were affected by drug addiction within their family, whether it was a sibling, you know, a nephew, a grandchild. Right. And, and I'm like, how do we work with the court systems to be a part of the solution? So I had the opportunity of talking to Judge Michael Brady and his assistant, Annette Dio, and I said, you know, you know, we're part of the local church. How can we be a part of what you're doing and help you. And, and they seem very blessed about that, that the church would want to get involved in such a dark, you know, dirty subject. And they, they really encouraged me to come to some of the family treatment courts and then they eventually asked me to be a spiritual advisor. And that was such a blessing because then I could be a part of it from a different aspect and we could, we could collaborate on what they're doing, which is an incredible program, and in helping the addicts get through uh, recovery, but also focusing on their children, their husbands, their wives, their parents, to be able to make it um, a healing, uh, an entire healing program from the inside out with them. So we are very involved with, with that aspect of community. You know, I would think that that would be a daring step for the judge because of the, you know, separation of church and state and he, he needs to walk a fine line, I'm sure. Right. But what, um, what gave him the, the encouragement or the, the motivation really to, to take that leap of faith. Right, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's one of the things that I admire about him greatly. Um, he is a man of God and he knows there's certain things he can and cannot do, mm-hmm. but he'll be the first to say, you know, that separation of church and state, come on, really? Has there really ever been, exactly. right? Exactly, but he said, we need the church. And just him speaking that, and he will speak it openly. There's certain things he said the church can do that we can't do, and That's vice true. versa. There's certain things that, that they understand, the political realm, the, you know, he can mandate certain things to help people. Mm-hmm. And so he will, many times in court, if I'm in there, he'll uh, talk to the young women and say, you need to hook up with Pastor Shelley and get into a church, because if you don't add that part of it, I'll probably see you back here again. Oh. So it's a blessing. And they they just celebrated their 10 year anniversary of this treatment court and they were sharing some of the testimonies and victories and and he had asked me to come to this event and to bless this program and pray over this program and that was so humbling to me because he put us in a situation meaning the church to speak in the name of Jesus and we all know that that's where the victory will really stick and be eternal absolutely absolutely well I am in awe of your your work that you're doing there and um, I wish you the very best because this is something God needs to be in the center of it Amen. so that's right um, thank you very much pastor Shelley for thank joining you us. All right, back to you.